Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banding Vazgaz there, plus we're chasing here in Resent in the previous episode. I think we did another challenge, didn't we? What was it we did last episode? Was it, uh, Protect the Idiot? I think it was, wasn't it? We've only got a few more challenges to go. We have three more challenges to go. So, let's get them done. Um, we're very near to getting them done. Uh, I'll have you know though, these next two episodes are coming after this, the next two challenges, we should should hopefully have the new update for um, Ipecac. The update is sort of the YouTube embargo is lifting on Saturday the 28th, so that's a week's time from now. So I'll be recording both my episodes on, for the week on Sunday. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty good. Uh, we're, we're doing the pay-to-play challenge here. I'm fairly sure this challenge is real easy. Um, we got money equals power, so we got really good damage, and essentially we have to pay to get into every room we go into, but we get a lot of money drops as rewards, and we have our our little bag of bag of pennies. So, I, I, I think this is going to be a relatively easy challenge for us here. Uh, I doubt we'll have too much problems. Um, wow. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. Uh, we don't want to be spending all of our money on these guys. I'm just going to bomb them for their resources. Uh, more pills appear. No, thank you. Um, oh, we got an Isaac's bed. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Especially for the full heal. Uh, that's probably going to be the hardest thing. Do you know what? It's a weird one, but I'll take Ludovica. And, yeah. Do you know what? Spawn an orbital bishop uh, that protects... Charms monsters from down. I guess I'll take it. But yeah, um, Ludovico is something that I'd I'd say it's it's kind of lower tier in terms of the big uh, modifiers, big sort of tier modifiers. But at the same time, if you've got good damage and decently fast tiers, it can be very good. And it, it the the real sort of dependency on how good it is is really up to um, how. Uh, fast the enemies move and how fast like your shot speed is that can really change things up a bit Oh, we have to take humbling bundle here humbling bundle for a challenge like this is absurdly good um, Of course if we run out of money, we're gonna have problems But I don't th with humbling bundle considering we get um Payouts at the end of every room or most rooms and we get a sack of pennies. We're always gonna get double. I think oh my god I think that should mean we'll get a, a good amount here also, I'm not sure if we dropped money then, or uh, like lost money, or just dropped money on being hit. Vegemite here. Uh, do you know what? I'll take it, but I really don't care about it all that much. Probably should have taken that half red heart there, shouldn't I? Oh, uh, well, but so far, so far, so good. Um, okay, we'll see if we get any more red hearts to use that. But yeah, we should be we should be seeing a good amount of um, of money dropping now. Because we're getting double the amount we should be getting for every room. So for, for every one room we go in, we're going to be getting two um, two pennies, which is really, really good. Uh, of course, any extra avenues for us to gain money, we want to be making sure we explore. Uh, if, if there's any other way, like blowing up a, a load of pots when we have bombs, stuff like that. Uh, we really want to be trying to make the most of that when we can. Yeah, as you can see here. Oh, fuck. Um, the Vegemite really isn't going to be too useful for us here. I'm really hoping we can get some stuff that make Ludovico just really, really good. Um, Abyss, don't really care. But the good thing about this is it should keep our money equals power bonus relatively high up. And um, should mean that we... Uh, so maybe it's not gold. Maybe you don't get coins from every room reward. Because we didn't get one from this room. But we did get, we were also able to destroy the poops and get the gold back anyways. Nothing in there we really want. Apart from, I might want to buy the bombs. In fact, for five cent, I probably do want to buy the bombs, right? Yeah, especially considering we just got four cent for that room. Let's go and buy the bombs because we can do a lot with those. So we'll grab those and we'll come back. There was a tinted rock over this way. Um... Yeah, there's a few of the bits and bobs we can do with this. I think we should probably try and blow up the machines. Back there as well. So let's go here and first of all destroy this. Um, I think this will destroy this one. It yeah. Okay. I'll open this as well. There we go. That's health and money back. Even better. Uh, so let's go back here and we'll blow up one of these machines. I'll blow up. Do you know what? Can I blow up both of these? Yes. There you go. And we got a dime from that too and a nickel. Okay. We just we just made the most alpha player. The most alpha player. So now we can play this a bunch. <laughs> a bunch, I say. Uh, <laughs> um, 
What's this? Plus three heart containers, rerolls all hearts into an assortment of red hearts, soul hearts, and black hearts. I mean, that sounds fine to me. Let's go for it. Yeah, that that worked out fine. We got a ton of HP there. That's, that's a new item. I haven't seen that one before. I don't know if it's new as in like a recent update or if it's just new to me and I haven't seen it before. But I quite like it. That was a really, really, really good amount of HP there. I imagine getting that later on would be much worse. But at the current time that we just got it, it's pretty good. And as you can see now, we're on 68 coins. This is why Humbling Bundle was probably one of the best things we could have possibly got for this challenge. Because um, now our damage is relatively high and we our worries about um, the amount of... Oh my god our worries about the amount of gold we have the amount i keep saying gold the amount of coins we have are really like non-worries and now like i really don't think we're gonna have any problems at all um with money that's good that's really good straight up damage up we got to deal with the devil here as well a guppy item hmm I'm gonna say no to that. I don't think if it was like Guppy's head or um, even Guppy's paw, I think I'd take it. But I think in in the current state, I don't really need to be taking that, do I? Um, we'll see what's in here. Mm, obviously, nothing good. Obviously, we're not really using Vegemite at the minute, but I kind of think it's because it's pretty bad. It's meant to be bad though. I'm 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 un, I'm under no preconceptions. Wait, that wasn't. Uh, okay, I was gonna say why wasn't that humbling bundle one? Now I know why. Uh, but yeah, I'm under no preconceptions that it's meant to be a good item. I know Vegemite's meant to be a bad item. So, I'm just, yeah, I'm just not really going to make much use of it. Also, we're coming across an alarming amount of flying enemies, which makes it even more useless. But yeah, this is this is the reasons I love Ludovico. We can stay at harm's way for a lot of enemies, and even some bosses as well. Um, we do have our shop here. Shops are definitely going to be something that we use a lot less. I'm very tempted by car battery. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it anyways and just see. Because the thing is, if we get like a really really good active here, that's a pretty good active, honestly. Um, for seven cent, I'm gonna buy it. I really don't want to spend too much money here, uh, but let's see if we can get anything else better. Um. Oh my god, that would be terrible. Lose all held consumables. That would completely brick this challenge. Um, hmm, there's a lot of good stuff here, but I'm, I am I really need specific things here. I am going to use all my bombs. Okay, Diplopia definitely could be used here. Definitely could be used. Uh, I'm going to take that. Just, we just got to be wary of our money. Make sure we don't end up spending too much here. Okay. Uh, but main, my main reason in taking the uh, the box is I think I think the box of friends should make it so that we can use it on rooms and get a bunch more rewards from our sack of pennies. Like this. I don't exactly know if that'll work, but the things we might get we might get better familiars later as well. So. I'm not all too worrisome about it. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be worth it. And I don't think we spent too much money here. That's even better. Contract. Okay, so we I think we just got the two best items you could possibly get for this challenge. <laughs> Humbling bundle and contract from below essentially means that every room is going to give us like four coins. Or most rooms are going to give us four coins at least. It's going to be really really good. Um, don't have bombs to deal with that. That's fine. We do have the lucky call though, so we should be t uh, putting out fires whenever possible because they're likely to drop us stuff. A burn heart from that one. Surprising, but I'll take it. Wasn't expecting that. Let's carry on forward. Keep pushing on. Getting rooms like this on a challenge like this. I don't know. It just... <laughs> the game likes me today. What can I say? The game really likes me today. Okay, where are you popping up now? At same place, okay. Them, them ones seem to want to pop up in the same place a lot. We don't have a bomb to get through there, unfortunately. But as you can see, we just got a double key drop there. Uh, Eddie's going to be annoying. Yep. You do be you annoying, little Eddie. Got you as well. Yeah, so at this point, I'm really, like, not worrying in the slightest about our room drop rewards and stuff. Okay, Tick definitely don't want that. We do not need the extra boss damage from Tick. I'm going to try this out and see if it gives us penny drops. 
They did. Okay, so essentially using our spacebar item currently generates us four cents, like every time, by the looks of it. So that's really, really good. And there's a dime. And there's a bunch more money. Oh my god, we're almost up to 999 already. Which is very... I wasn't ex expecting to get there this run, but it looks like we're probably going to. Which for a challenge like this is amazing. Okay, pop you. But yeah, we essentially just want to be... Oh, I love the look of that enemy, by the way. I love the look of that enemy. We did lose that burn heart there, but it's not all bad. Gotcha. Look at that. <laughs> okay, here's our boss. Again, a great boss to get with the current item setup we've got going on. Really, really easy for us. I'm pretty much just going to be playing it like I am now, look, where move to the side a bit, stand in the middle, move to the side a bit. <laughs> when you've got something like Ludovico, um, something like Gerdy is a very, very simple boss to kill. We, we, have, we essentially have to do nothing. Um... Chocolate's pretty good, and we got an angel deal as well, which is even better. Unfortunately, it's a very, very terrible angel deal. Like, that's offensively bad. I really, really hope they sort out stuff like that when um, Repentance comes out. Like, I I'm fine with the angel deal that just has the two eternal chests, because that's kind of like the red chest version for the... Uh, for the deal with the devil room, but just a golden poop. A golden poop is usually worth like 15 cent max. Like that's that's not that's not worthy. That's pretty good. Enigma bombs, I'll take them. Okay, we gotta be careful here because these fires are about to shoot at us. Cool. I love the the Enigma bomb visual on us. It looks really good. Right. Take you out pretty easily. But yeah, at the minute, we've got really, really good damage. Uh, randomly shoot poison tooth tears. Look, what the hell kind of chest was that? That's amazing. We're up to 999. I'm going to take that. <laughs> this is unprecedented amounts of amazing. Right. Uh, so I'll take champion belt. That extra damage is nice. Piggy bank is pretty good. I guess I'll take Piggy Bank, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, okay. Last one. Compost. Compost could be pretty amazing. Spawn. Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try Compost. I think Compost could be really, really good. Because the thing is, it, it triggers twice, so we can duplicate our spiders and stuff twice, and we get twice the amount for the pickups. So it's really good. You've got to make sure we pick up coins before you ever use it, because otherwise it'll get rid of them. And we do not want that at all. We do not want that at all. So here, we can go back down. Of course, we did lose damage in doing, in doing what we just did there, because of uh, money equals power, but I think that's a huge problem. So we'll go down here. We suck all that up. It duplicates all of our spiders. And look at already, already we have so many spiders. It's it's kind of unbelievable. I mean, we're probably going to lose quite a lot of them, and it, it's going to be hard to like sort of restart the fire. If you know what I mean, uh, we'll take the peep, the peeper. Like, there's a good chance we lose a lot of spiders quite quickly, and then we have to spend ages regaining them all. Uh, I missed out on a dime there because I'm dumb. Gotta make sure to not compost when there's money on the floor. Because that will result in us losing everything that's on the floor. But as you can see here, we've already created a ridiculous army of spiders. Like, an obscene amount. So our damage has just, just skyrocketed already. So make sure to pick up the coins, then duplicate. There is a limit to how many you can have, but it's pretty hard to hit that limit to be honest. Okay, yeah, these, uh, and them sort of enemies will do completely wreck us here. Unfortunately, we can't pick up the batteries and use that at the same time. We could have left the room and done it, I suppose, but I'm not going to faff around with that, to be honest. But yeah, pretty much everything, anytime anything becomes hittable, we just annihilate it. And then here's the boss. Prepare to die. There you go. And you're dead. Beautiful. This is a very beautiful run. Duality, all stats up. 
um, close to our zero. We're actually pretty close to zero here, so that's going to give us a big stat up. It won't apply until we leave the room, though. Guppy's Pride. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. That one gave us nothing. Great. Right, down we go. Yeah, pretty big stat up there. Fire rate up is huge. We haven't had a fire rate up yet, so the getting down to eight here is really nice. Cool. Wow. We we got two of diamonds. We essentially don't need to worry about our money at all anymore. Like, not even in the slightest, because we can just get down to 50, then duplicate it again. God damn it. I, I mean, the way that these blue, uh, these blue spiders are flashing is kind of epileptic. Like, it's going crazy. Uh, yep. If there's an item to be had, we'll take it. Definitely don't want that item. Blue streak is really bad. So coin drops are doubled, but dropping your, drops your coins on damage. It drops all of them. It drops all your coins. I think they are going to change that, or, or it might have already been changed. But either way, I'm not risking that. Coin drops being doubled is nice, but there's a chance that we end up missing out on getting the coin pickups again and literally get stuck and the challenge just ends, and I do not want that in the slightest. We've got something beautiful going on here. This is why a uh, car battery is probably one of my favorite items in the entire game. Because you can just do some really, really interesting stuff with it. You can create some really fun runs. And just, yeah, stuff like this is awesome. Okay, I'll take ceremonial robes. Ow. Um, I'm debating whether I want to take the altar or not. Because the thing is, it would sacrifice the um, the sack, and I really don't want it to sacrifice the sack. Do you know what? Well, let's just try it. Fuck it. Didn't know it did that. Okay, it didn't sacrifice the sack. That's great. But it did get rid of all of our spiders. I did not know it did that. So we're going to have to rebuild them again. Which isn't a, a particularly, particularly big problem. Like, it's not going to take us long. And we do have good damage now anyways. And we now have a succubus as well, which means we can fire normally. Uh, we need to find a room with some stuff in it first, just to start this off. Alright, good, good. This will do. There you go, we started it. We just got to make sure we don't, like, lose too many, um, too many spiders now while we're trying to duplicate more and more. More pennies. Not that pennies matter anymore. And we're up to, like, 12 damage now as well, which is even better. Okay. There you go. Okay. We've even got flies this time as well. Sometimes you get flies, sometimes you get spiders. They're probably all going to go here as well, but it's to a good cause. Um, so we need, we need the uh, Polaroid here. Right. I mean, mum's knife. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess we take Mum's Knife and just do this. Mum's Knife's incredibly slow with Ludo, though. It's kind of hard to pay attention to, actually. I hate the stain. Why does the stain have to be such a shit? Pop up, you fuck. There you go. God damn you, Stern. Why do you have to be the way you are? Also, a mask of infamy. Being just faster than our knife is the most infuriating thing in the world. Do you know what? I'm going to leave some pennies on the floor here. Oh my god, our knife is so unbelievably slow. I, never, I didn't realize how slow our knife would be. Our, our shot speed's horrible here. Ludo knife is smooth as hell, but this does not feel good. And our army of spiders and flies has kind of died. Dude, it's not doing anywhere near as much damage. I mean, I'm not I know that it shouldn't be godly, but I wasn't I was expecting it to do a bit more damage than it is right now, I have to say. It's nowhere near as good as I thought it would be. There's an angel up there apparently. Oh, it's just, it's so, it's its offensively slow. Look at it. It can't catch up to anything. Everything moves faster than it, and its hitbox is so small. Why well, gotta be this way, knife? Also, the fact that it can sit underneath an enemy is really, really annoying. I wish it was always just sitting above it. 
Oh, it's Soul Heart. I'll take that. Don't know what that enemy down there is doing, but it's dead now. Something's spawning some Burnies. Don't know what. Aha! It's you. Good job I saw you before you did that laser attack, dude. Yeah, as you can see, the, the spider army is just not building in the slightest. It's just incredibly hard to build it up because they keep running into bosses and dying before we can duplicate them. But it's okay, we can get back on the train as soon as we get around to um, like finishing this. And this won't take too much longer. This, however, killing this little horsey thing is going to take forever. Oh my god, it's so... It, it offends me how slow this is. Where the hell is it? I've always had a problem with um, with this. I, I think this is a really dumb um, mechanic to have in big rooms, having that horse thing fly around the little the little um, seat that he sits on. It's it's very annoying. It takes an obscenely long time to find and kill. We need shot speed up so bad. This is uh, it's gross. Okay, got him. He may have hit me, but I get my money back. There you go, you're dead. This should be just about it, right? Maybe not. Okay, let's take out Ragman first. He's going to be more of a problem. But we basically just have to accidentally let the nubbins run into stuff at this point. Or uh, use our succubus. Succubus is also doing a good job here. Because we just can't... We can't catch these things at all. There you go. He just ran into our knife at that point, so that works out. I'm trying to keep these rocks between me and anything that jumps, because it can't jump over it. Little haunts here. There you go. This should be relatively easy. I think we just have enough speed. Yeah, we do. Just have enough speed to keep up with him. Really? We're still not done? I'm very surprised by this. You're dead. You jumping around is going to be a pain. A huge pain. I think you're, yeah, you're into your second phase now. There you go. Ow! I didn't realize there was red poop there. Okay, I don't know what that was that just fired the brimstone at me, but I'm scared. Okay, it's you. That's okay. We can deal with you. Anything that sits still is just a blessing for us. Super easy to kill. Ow. What the hell? Go away. <laughs> You're jumping jack shit. Okay, I mean, as much as, as much as this would give us literally infinite HP, essentially, I'm not going to take it because I think that the compost is so unbelievably good. Because as soon as we start getting our flies and spiders built up, it, it creates this unstoppable army. Right. We can't get them, so just do that. And as you can see, we've... Oh my god. Okay, nope. Doesn't matter. This room exists, so... <sighs> Please, just, I don't know, like, can we just, like, s stop with these enemies? <laughs> I hate them so much. I still don't know what pack they're from, but I, I really don't like them at all. Uh, right, we just lost a lot of health that we really didn't need to, and we lost all of our flies and spiders. Oh, there's more of them. Go away. I don't want to have to deal with you. <laughs> Ooh, I will take that. Building up our flies and spiders at this point is essentially going to be impossible. And I've got to the point now where I really regret my decision. Because, yeah, them, them two rooms just wrecked me in ways that I wasn't expecting. Donkey's jawbone. Don't know why Donkey's Jawbone counts as an item when it's uh, not an item. Okay, so Eddie in this room is essentially going to be the biggest pain in the ass we've ever seen in our life. Okay. I actually really regret Mum's knife, you know. Like, I thought it'd be way better than it is. It's, it feels really terrible to use. 
Oh fuck! I forgot about the eye, guys. It was. I think we. I think we might die. You know. I genuinely think I made a huge mistake, and we might die. The knife has just ruined us. I thought it'd be really good, and it's just so unbelievably slow. What the hell even? Oh, okay, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so upset. I can't kill anything, because I just... The knife moves so damn slow. It does so much damage, but it moves so fucking slow. We've lost, like, all of our HP already. Right, uh, chance to spawn... I mean, we, we have to use this anyways. Did it not double use it with car battery? What, what the hell just exploded there? I'm grateful that we have all this, um, beautiful, beautiful, uh, money, but it's not really gonna help us if we're dead. Lankrune. Did it just give us- oh, it cleared our curses. That's nice. That's nice at least, but I mean our health is ba back to back to a, a way more respectable position, but it's still not good. What the hell you lobbed us so far? Okay, we've got to a point now where our spiders are giving us sort of increasing returns, which is nice. Oh, I hate this room so much. It's so small and you don't know how many hands there's going to be. Okay, we did alright, we did alright. Yeah, you can see what I mean now. We've got to the point now where we're getting a lot of spiders back. We'll get up to full money, and then we can just leave the rest for duplicating. So, see, we can go back over here, and this will give us even more spiders and flies. The flies at this point don't really matter, it's the spiders that are the big killer. Hopefully the boss doesn't eat them all up. Nah, good, it didn't. Um, that's good. Definitely take that. Deal with the devil here is terrible. I mean, it's good enough to give me a soul heart, though, so I won't be too upset. Okay, I'm a little more hopeful now. I was in a, I was in a, small, a, a small but very real pit of despair there about this run for a moment. Really? Really? You terribly designed enemy, you're gonna hit me like that. Gosh darn it. You need to go immediately before you lob a bomb at me. Thank you. I don't even know what that uh, close room was. Oh really? I got hit by that? I need to go into that room and check. I don't even know what's going on at this point. I'm just letting my spiders do everything. I can't, I, I can't even, I don't even know where my knife is. There's more enemies left still, apparently. Like, right, what is this room? God damn it. <laughs> this has to be, like, the most money I've ever had on a run. And it literally doesn't matter at this point. Oh, oh, no, no, oh my god. Also, yeah, that, this room here completely wrecked my spider economy. Which is a little upsetting. Hey, Axolotl, I'll definitely take that. Our, our spiders are going to go bye-bye from these guys as well. At least we get charges for doing this, though. Right. Keep the dream alive. Yeah, give me that. Give me that, baby Axolotl. I axo like it a lot. Thank you for deceasing. These can probably be taken out by flies and spiders, honestly. I really can't be asked dealing with these guys. They're too fast and we have to get too close. There you go. But yeah, we've got to the point now. We've we've got to the point now where we have some somehow we have so many flies that we're spawning locusts rather than normal flies, which I didn't know was a an actual possibility. But hey, her. Okay, just keep moving on. Take these out before they become big assholes and fire bombs at me. What is with all the troll bombs? We don't. We have two evil. 
Like, that's not enough to be... to warrant this many troll bombs. Right, you're dead. See, this is the beautiful thing about this many flies and spiders. It's annihilation at this point. Wait a minute. I almost went in there. That's the hush fight, you cheeky game. Because it's got the money door. It's a different... Like, the door's different. I almost walked directly into it. Very nearly, game. Very nearly did you get me. <gasps> Rainbow chest. Um... I mean, we could just break the game with this, I guess. Poison bean, thanks. We'll finish this room off. We could just break the game with this. I don't know if it'll restart the combat arena every time, though. It might. There's a chance it's glitchy, so it might. Or... Or... Different, different side of the, of the coin. Uh... <laughs> We could wipe out literally everything because compost gets rid of chests. Didn't know it got rid of chests, I have to say. Should have maybe thought about that. Ow, really? You spawn and go right into me? Are you kidding me? Okay, health is pretty bad right now. We've got to be careful. Just be cautious. Stay away from things that we don't need to get near. Um, I hear pennies, half soul heart, we'll take that. Let's uh, bomb all of these. We've actually got very little bombs. We've got soul heart from one of them, good, good. Um, I'm going to go out here, duplicate, and then come back in here. We've actually got more flies than spiders this time. I think spiders are a little better because they tend not to group up and just hit one enemy and like waste themselves, whereas flies do a lot. At this point, I just kind of sit still and I don't know what to do. A lot of them have killed themselves, which is... What the hell just happened there? I don't know why I teleported. I don't think I have anything that teleports me, so... That was confusing, but... I'm pretty sure, yeah, that was a very handy shortcut, so... Thanks, I guess. Right, this guy should be dead. Oh, actually, not even close, baby. I thought we'd uh, insta-kill him there with our flies and spiders, but we didn't actually do anything close to that. He's almost dead, though. We've almost got him. There you go. Oh, that's the challenge done. I thought we had another floor to go. Okay, that was pretty good. Two new pills. Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, we're very close to completing all of our challenges here. We now only have... Um, think two more to go. We have Have a Heart and I Rule, which I think both of those are really easy. And then we've done all the challenges in the game, which is awesome. I, I'm not 100% sure. I think that Re Repentance is going to add some new challenges, so that'll be fun. We can try them out when we get there. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.